Last Tuesday night, we visited the Dramard senior football squad in Parkening Ale as they prepared for their crucial round four match against Slashers in the Longford County Championship this weekend. When we arrived at the training ground, the squad was fully immersed in their preparations. The coaching team, led by former Tyrone for Manor and New York player Aidan McCarran, was meticulously coordinating the training session, emphasising both physical conditioning and tactical execution. We spoke to Aidan and a couple of the players after their training session. Aidan, uh, your season so far? Uh, well, I suppose there'd, there'd be certain aspects of the season we'd have been very pleased with, but there was other aspects up until the start of the championship that we knew we, we really had to work on. Um, after the league, we had uh, we had a couple of weeks period where we got everybody back. There was lads that had been, you know, involved in the county. There'd been lads that had been on holidays and that. So throughout the league, we didn't have a, a full panel to pick from at any stage. But we would have been pleased with with certain performances. Disappointed in other performances, but. Um, since the lead up to the championship, we've really knuckled down. Um, we're heading into our fourth game now. We've had two good wins. We've had one draw. So um, we're, we're moving along nicely. Ronan McIntyre has played for Longford and Dromard at all levels and is a key member of the current Dromard senior football squad. The season so far, has it been good for you personally? Uh, for me personally, not too bad, happy enough. Once once you're keeping injury free and you're getting as many games in, um, you can't can't complain with that, I guess. Right. It's uh, it strikes me, you know, all the matches I've been videoing or whatever, like the huge commitment, like it's almost like a premiership. Uh, and I don't like using the word premiership, but it's so professional looking. Every club in the county, regardless of size, like Dromard would be a small parish, am I wrong? No, no. It, but yet right. you're competing there, like, I mean, you're competing with Longford slashers who have much more, many more players. Uh, but the commitment of players, like the dedication, like the great uh, crack they obviously get from it. Mm. You know, where does this all come from? Uh, I have to say, it's probably the last couple of years we've had a couple of unbelievable young lads that has come on to the, came on to the squad, which I guess... Uh, for the last few years, we would have sort of missed that bit of youth, and like definitely they, they add that bit of you know a bit of bite of training, then a bit of crack afterwards, and like you know football's all very serious and whatnot, but you kind of need that you need that bit of um, bit of messing and whatnot to go on during during the sessions and that. Yeah. Fionn Hurricane is one of the youngest players on the panel. How has that been for you, that progression from, let's say, whatever age, nine, I'm not sure what yeah. age you would have started at? How would you describe that progression through the years and, and how, uh, you know, you've developed as a player? Yeah, I suppose probably started playing when I was about six or seven because growing up in Jamar, there's not really a whole lot else to do except for playing football. Um, and at, at that stage, it was just a bit of crack going out and seeing your friends and uh, still, still is that bit of crack. And it kind of, you make a good group of friends uh, all coming out to training and all working to try and win a championship, uh, even at like from under 14 up to minor, and then there's a bit of a step up then uh, to senior, but it's the same sort of mentality. You're just working to try and bring a championship. Yeah, teachers' input into teams in school and then that feeding into the senior. Ah, it definitely is, yeah. Like, we de we have a few few of the lads there that's teaching, and, like, they're, they're involved with their schools and whatnot, and... You can you can know there when they're out in the field that they're used to that bit of bit of a coaching role yeah, and kind of yeah exactly a bit of leadership and kind of directing lads. Very good, great stuff. Where are you are where are you with injuries? James Martin is out. I'm not sure. You know, it's a long time since I saw James playing. I don't know whether he's pivotal or he used to be pivotal. So where are you with injuries? I will listen. For everyone from one to one to thirty is pivotal in, in, in this squad. Like you know, um, everyone puts their shoulder to the wheel and everyone has a, has a big part to play. Um, we have a few injuries going into the game on on Friday night. Now we're probably missing um, three, four that that could definitely come into the team and, and make an impact. But you know. We have a kind of a mindset here that if some lads are missing, it's an opportunity for someone else to come in and, and do the business. And that's that's the way it's kind of been this season um, going forward. And that's the way we intended to keep going. We have Longford Slashers now on, on Friday night. And, and uh, uh, you, your position in the league, I think you're safe enough, are you? I, th I think we're, well, we're, mo we're more or less 
We should be qualified, um, but obviously depending on results. We've still t two games to go. Um, Slashers are probably, they've, they've had one win, so this is a, a massive, massive game for them as it is for us. Um, so there's there's real championship feel about this one because it could be do or die for 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 one of the teams involved. Like, but uh, listen, we're focusing on ourselves. You know, like we always do. You know, we'll we'll come over to Monaghan. We'll we'll bring the football boots with us. We'll we'll add up the scores at the end, and we'll see where that leaves us. What's your opinion on all this betting? I know it needs a lot of interest. Yeah, no, listen, hey, it's listen. Football's like anything. Everybody's got their opinion on it. We'll. Uh, We'll focus on our roles, we'll focus on our job, we'll let the bookies um, do what they do. We try and keep the outside world um, as far away as possible and there's, uh, there's a big strength and there's, there's, a big, uh, there's a big positive in that for us as a group that you know, we focus on ourselves, we focus on our hard work and listen, we'll see where that takes us. The best of luck on Thank Friday. You. Thank you. There was a sense of unity and mutual respect within the squad when we were there and undoubtedly this contributes to a positive training environment. Light-hearted banter mixed with serious commitment shows a healthy balance between fostering team spirit and preparing for the challenging matches ahead. Supporters can no doubt look forward to an exciting few weeks ahead. Here are this weekend's fixtures on Clubber.ie. So if you know anyone who can't attend any of these games at home or abroad, let them know about Clubber TV. This is Mick Conlon for Clubber TV, wishing you a happy viewing experience.